down straight in with the brows today and I'm using the sleek brow kit in the shade dark and as always I'm just lining under my brow first using the waxy side of the kit just creating a nice solid line under the brow and then just doing the same on top slightly extending my arch and then just joining it up to the tail then I'm just filling through still using the waxy part then just pushing the product up through the front of the brow and then just on those areas where the waxy side's not really set properly I'm taking the powder side of the kit just to sort of set them down and deepen them up then for eye primer today I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair just plonking that all over the lid and then blending it out using my Zoeva Concealer Brush I'm just creating that sharp line underneath my brow then I'm just buffing out those edges so there's no harsh lines when it comes to putting foundation on later on and just making sure that's all nice and set across the eyelid okay so my first shade I'm using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour refill pan in the shade mellow yellow now I'm keeping the eye quite rounded at this point I won't wing it out till a bit later on but I am just popping that color all through the crease and then blending it out then I'm going in with the shade La Orange or Lorange, I don't know how you say it. Again, just plopping that all down through the crease and then taking a touch of mellow yellow to blend it out and making sure I don't you lose any of them stages so you can clearly see each colour in the crease. So I'm just building up each colour until I'm happy with the intensity of it. So dipping into my Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette, I'm taking the shade Hunts and focusing this a lot closer to the crease line just to deepen it up slightly. Again, just blending it out with the colour I used before that so I don't lose either of them. Always bringing in the colours I've used before. So at this point I'm going to start winging it out and I'm just taking an ever slight touch of mellow yellow and just from the top of where it ends I'm just dragging it out to the outer corner and then again with Lorange and then again with Hunts just dragging it out until I'm happy with the shape and it all flows nicely then for the lid today I'm taking the Peaches and Cream pigment in Mermaids so I've just got any old lash glue here and I'm just popping on the lash glue on my lid. I'm not cutting the crease or anything, but I'm still putting the lash glue on as if I was cutting the crease. So I'm keeping that sort of shape, but just popping on the lash glue and then pressing in the pigment, as you can see, with a little wiggle so I don't really get much fallout. Just making sure it's all tightly compact onto that eye. Then I'm just spritzing my brush with a bit of MAC Fix Plus just to make sure that there is no fallout at all. Just to keep that pigment there all day long. Okay, so I'm just doing my under eyes, just priming with Tarte Shape Tape again. Buffing that all out as always. And then I'm just going in with the same three colours, so Mellow Yellow, Lorange and Hunts. <laughs> eyeliner I'm taking the NYX jumbo eye pencil in the shade milk then I'm just popping on some mascara and some lashes and now it's time for the face so to prime my face and create a sort of luminosity to my skin I'm using my iconic London shine liquid illuminator drops I'm just radiating Tim Man vibes here. For foundation, I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NW20. Yes, I know this is too dark for me, but I felt like being tanned this day, so just let a girl be. Pale girls don't get to be tanned very often. So I'm just painting that all over the skin using my Real Techniques foundation brush. As always, I love doing this with my foundation because I feel like it creates a nice fuller coverage. And then I'm just buffing that out using my Real Techniques complexion sponge. Making sure it's all blended in. Got to get down that neck so we match. The 
concealer I'm just going to take my Urban Decay Naked Concealer I think this is the shade Light Neutral and this has always been too dark for me so now that I've put a darker foundation on I can use my darker concealer just popping that in all the usual spots under the eyes, front of the forehead, down the nose, cupid's bow then just to lighten it up slightly I'm putting a touch of my Tarte Shape Tape in with it just to brighten it up And I'm just blending all that out using the Real Technique sponge again. And for them harder to reach areas, I'm just taking this small little fluffy brush and just blending it in so I don't ruin the blend of the eyeshadow and, and yeah. To set everything in place today, I'm taking this Cryolan, I think it's just the translucent face powder, I'm not sure of the name but I will list it down below, and just setting the under eye area and between the brows. And to bronze up today, I'm taking my Kiko Milano Baked Summer Bronzer, and just running that along the cheekbones, the jawline and then the temples of my head. Then I'm dipping into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit taking that slightly darker shade than normal and just deepening up my contour for highlight today I'm taking my Kiko Milano water eyeshadow and this is in the style 208 and just blinging out that highlight all the usual spots the cheekbones cupid's bow tip of the nose and a bit on the forehead then I'm actually taking it as my inner corner highlight as well For lips, I'm using my NYX lip liner, I can't remember the shade name of this either so I will have to list it below, I think it's just like pink neutral or something, just lining my lips. And then for lipstick today I'm using the NYX liquid suede in soft spoken, just this lovely sort of more brownie nudes which I thought went nicely with this eye look since the eyes were so bright. Bless you. Then I felt like being a bit more glossy, so I'm just going over top with me Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Puff Booker Lip Gloss. Then to set it all in place, I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.